Hey mamas, it's Tori here from Mommy Bar, and today I have a video of stretches to help you relieve back pain during pregnancy. These are great for any trimester that you're in. I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant, so I'm in the second trimester, and recently I've been having some more back pain, basically because of the relaxin um, that's going through my system and that's starting to help separate my hips, widen them, as well as it's having an, its effect on my SI joint. So if you're interested in exercises to help strengthen your muscles and stabilize that SI joint and lower back pain during pregnancy, check out this video here. But today we're just gonna focus on some stretches. All right, please remember to subscribe to our channel because when you subscribe and like our videos, that actually helps more moms find us and help them as well. All right, so we are going to start out actually on our hands and our knees. And we're gonna do a little bit of some simple cat-cow here. If you're familiar with that term from yoga, it's a pretty common term nowadays. So every time you inhale, you're gonna drop that belly button down to the floor. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders down. I don't want them up around your, um, your ear lobes. Feel like you're lifting your tailbone up to the ceiling. And then you're going to exhale, curl it, and get as much of a curve in your spine as you possibly can. And pull that belly button in and lift, baby. Inhale, accentuate that curve. Exhale, pull everything up and in. And if you can, feel like that tailbone is pointing down towards the floor. I like to do about 10 of these, just at your own pace. Sometimes I like to just hang out in this little curved position as well and rock back and forth here. Good, we're gonna do two more here. And last one. All right, now we're gonna do some little wagging of our tails, side to side. That'll help just get some movement through your pelvis and your spine. Like your dog wagging your tail or a cat wagging your tail. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit of a child's pose and depending on how far along you are, if you're early on and you don't have um, really any belly, you can keep your knees straight forward. I like, I need to take my knees out to the side and basically sit on my toes and my heels behind me and then walk your way down here into a nice child's pose position. Pulling away. And I don't have with me right now. But you can put a little pillow right in front of you and roll that out over top of that to give you a little bit extra room for your belly and for baby. All right, then you're going to walk your hands over towards one side. Since I'm on my reformer and tower, I kind of am off the mat. But if you're on the floor, you will be able to reach over and pull a little bit better. And then reach over towards the other side. All right, from here, we're just going to sit. You can sit with your legs in front of you. You can sit with your legs crossed, or you can sit in a little um, fourth position here with one leg in front, one leg to the back. And what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna slide out to the side and hold your arm over, do a nice side stretch here. And we wanna hold these stretches for about 20 to 30 seconds. 
to really feel everything in there. That's the best amount of time to hold your stretches for. And while you're here, you can kind of rock forward and back a little bit. Just kind of feeling what feels like it needs stretched for you right now. We're going to switch sides. Same thing, roll yourself down and hold that. And you can kind of go forward a little bit and back and forward and back and then bring yourself up. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to lay on our back. Slide down to the side first before you roll onto your back. All right, we're going to take one leg up and over, cross it over your bent leg. So I have my right leg crossed over my left leg. From here, you're going to pull that left leg up, hook your fingers together behind your left thigh, and you're going to pull that leg in. You can use your right elbow against your right knee to keep that pressed out. This is our piriformis stretch, which can get tight from sitting a lot if you are at the desk or if you just haven't had energy to get up. And depending on where you cross your leg here, if it's right at your ankle or if you slide it more close so that your knee is almost, or your knee is at your mid shin, um, that will be a different stretch. So you can kind of experiment with that to feel where you're tight um, any particular day. We're gonna switch legs. And again, this is a 20 to 30 second hold for each stretch and experiment, see what feels good with where your leg is being crossed and what it is stretching. All right, from here, we are gonna take one leg up to the ceiling and we're gonna flex our foot. If you have a towel, um, actually, let me grab a little stretching band to show you. All right, if you have a little band to use to stretch with, or it's perfectly fine to use a towel. You're gonna hook that over the ball of your foot because you want your toes to be pulled back. And here, we're just gonna stretch out that hamstring because a lot of times our lower back can be really tight if our hamstrings are tight because that's pulling our pelvis and tucking it under. And what's more important here is that you keep your knee nice and straight. And if that means you can only stretch your leg to here, that's fine. That's actually better than bending it back and doing that because that doesn't really give you your stretch. All right, you're gonna cross your leg across your body slightly as much as you can. You're gonna feel it along the outside of your leg. Your IT band can get very tight. You want to make sure your arms are relaxed while you're doing this. You don't, I don't want you to be scrunched up here. Good. And then you're going to take your leg out to the side and get a nice inner thigh stretch. That can feel good after a while. All right. We're going to switch legs. And I like to have my lower leg straighten. If you're having a lot of tightness, feel free to keep it bent, but you'll get a, um, a better stretch if you have your lower leg straight. And also up here with your foot, you want to be pulling that backwards. This leg is a lot tighter um, instead of having it pointed up because that's gonna be a different, different stretch there. All right, we're gonna cross that leg over slightly. Now I do want you to be careful doing these stretches that you don't stretch too far 
because that relaxin that might be causing you some um, issues with pain in your lower back because your muscles aren't as strong and your SI joints not as um, tight together. That also means that you can overstretch yourself and then out to the side. I just needed a little extra stretch on that side. And then roll to your side, press yourself up. So we're gonna do two more stretches, but I'm quickly gonna show you a variation on those that we just did if getting down on your back is too uncomfortable. I know for a little bit of time it was very uncomfortable for me to get down on my back. <sighs> you're just gonna cross your leg over like you're sitting in a chair. And again, depending if you put your ankle right on your leg or if you cross it over more towards your knee, you're gonna feel that stretching in, uh, differently. And I want you, you're gonna hinge forward. No curving forward, just hinging forward here. And then you can do the same on the other leg. And then for those stretches that we just did laying down on our back, you just need a little chair in front of you or a stool, a step, anything. If you need something to hold on to, the stairs are a good thing. Flexing that foot, you're gonna hinge forward over, over that leg. You can even bend your bottom leg. And then again, you would go, ooh, because I missed that. You would do the same thing on the other leg. None of this, I don't want you bending like this. Hinging forward and then you can just kind of like adjust your position for your outer thigh and inner thigh stretch. All right, and we're gonna do one more stretch here, which is gonna be our hip flexor because a lot of times those can get tight if our glutes are not strong enough and pull us under, which causes a lot of back pain. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either press down into a nice deep lunge with that back leg straight or we can get into like a pigeon pose here. So we'll get into our hands and knees. This front leg is gonna come in front of us and we're gonna stretch right here. You should feel it. I like to press up and depending on where you are in your pregnancy, your belly can get in the way. You can also bend forward, but that kind of takes some of the stretch out of it. That gives you more of a piriformis stretch than anything else and back up here. So I like this one. And we'll switch sides. And then if this is too hard for you to get into or get out of, <laughs> which might be the case further along in your pregnancy, you can do a nice really deep lunge here. Making sure this front knee is staying over your toes. You don't want um, your toes to be pointing one direction and your knee to be pointing another direction. Or you can just do a nice lunge stretch here and pressing those hips forward. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed our nice little stretches to help you relieve any pain in your back for pregnancy. And again, if you want to have look at some exercises for relief of back pain during pregnancy, just click on our video, which we just posted. All right, please make sure you subscribe to our channel so you get all of our updates. And if you're interested in learning more about one-on-one -on -one online sessions or classes, the info is at the end of our video. All right, I will see you next time, mamas.